When covering the topic of contaminated fuel, we are effectively opening Pandora's box. That being said, we're willing to risk it to give you folks some very necessary knowledge when it comes to your diesel fuel and proper fuel system maintenance. We'll talk all about it right here in the Amsoil Garage. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about fuel contamination. To start, you might be wondering what contaminated fuel means. Fuel contaminants can be things such as water, dirt and dust, and microbial growth. Obviously, you don't want foreign things in your fuel. When it comes to a contamination such as dirt or dust that's in the environment and in the air, those things can get into the fuel, especially through above ground fuel tanks, if they don't have the proper filters to separate that dust and dirt from getting in the tank in the first place. If dirt is present in the fuel you fill up with, then it can easily get into your vehicle's fuel tank. Hopefully your fuel filters will pull that dirt out and it'll be nothing to worry about. The much bigger issue and the contaminant to really worry about is water. When talking about water contamination, this could mean water from the underground storage tank at the fuel station. It can be from humidity changes and condensation from an above ground storage tank, or it can simply be that same effect in the fuel tank on your truck. Every time the temperature goes up and down, moisture condensates. And because your tank is a big volume and it's warmer inside your tank than it is outside, condensation can occur. And speaking of water, microbial growth is another contaminant seen in diesel fuel because of water. That layer between water and fuel is a great place for microbes to grow which among plenty of other performance reasons is why you don't want water in your fuel. From a fuel tank and fuel line maintenance standpoint, you don't want water in your fuel because when microbes hit that moisture layer in a tank, they can grow and turn into a sludge. It usually stinks, can plug up fuel filters, plugs up lines, and can rot your tank out because it changes the pH of the fuel. A lot of fuel tanks and vehicles these days are made of polymers and plastics but if your tank is older and metallic, it could rot the tank. Most above ground storage tanks are steel, so microbes could chew through that. The bottom line, you don't want microbial growth and you don't want water in your fuel. So how do you get rid of these contaminants? Most diesel applications have fuel water separators on them because OEMs don't want water getting to the injectors. If you were to burn water in your combustion chamber, it's just gonna vaporize and roll out your pipe. No big deal. But if you take that water and put it through a common rail engine, which boosts the fuel pressure to 35,000 PSI, you're pressurizing that water. In addition, it's being pressurized inside of a hot engine, and anytime you compress something and the temperature goes up, you could turn that water into steam and blow a nozzle off your injector. If water was in the rail, it would be one thing, because you have a relief valve but if it gets to the injector, you can have catastrophic failure to your injector due to the pressure. Again, most applications have fuel water separators on them to remove water. If you have an above ground tank, you should have a way to separate water out from it. That's just good tank maintenance and good proactive maintenance for whatever vehicle you're putting that fuel into. On top of that, you should consider running fuel additives that will help separate water from fuel. Amsoil's fuel additives will do that. They put in a demulsifier that separates water from fuel. Many other additives in the market use emulsifiers to try to grab a hold of that water from your tank, bring it through your system and burn it. However, getting rid of water this way can be harmful to your engine and your vehicle already has a fuel water separator on it. If there's water in your tank, it'll catch it in that separator and you can drain it out. Most diesels have some sort of indicator light so you know to drain it out. You'll open the drain valve, called the petcock, to get rid of that water. However, anytime you might be discarding fuel, make sure you do so in the correct manner. Not to harp on this subject longer, but water is not a good lubricant for the fuel pump. Water can cause corrosion to your tank, your fuel lines, your fuel pump, your rail, your injectors, all of those things. This can lead to a loss in functionality in your engine, and if you get corrosion in an injector or pintle, 
It can lead to poor power, leaking fuel, poor idle, and a host of different issues. You might be wondering how long it takes for water to become corrosive. It's probably a lot quicker than you think. And while it may vary depending on a number of factors, do you really want to wait around and find out how long it takes? The fact is, water in your vehicle left unmanaged and stagnant can create corrosion. Again, it's the reason why OEMs put a fuel water separator between the tank and the engine, so you can separate the engine and your expensive, really important components away from that water. A great help to your engine is to use something like Amsoil's Diesel Injector Clean, which has a demulsifier to separate water out. The chemistry in these additives helps water and fuel separate out even better so the separator on your vehicle can pull it out easier. Amsoil also recommends doing this to bulk tanks and above ground storage tanks, but you have to have a way to drain the water out and you have to be proactive about doing that because otherwise you're gonna create a layer of water and fuel and you're gonna breed microbes. The most important thing to keep in mind when it comes to managing fuel contamination and water is to make sure you're taking these precautions and steps to rid your fuel of water, but also drain any water that may be in your fuel. It comes down to proper fuel system maintenance on your truck and proper maintenance if you have an above ground fuel tank. If you're not proactive, you're gonna see problems you don't want. Thanks for joining me in the Amzola Garage. I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and we'll see you next time.